Hi, I'm Jamie and I'm here at the Brewers Training Centre with Chris and today we're going to be taking you through everything you need to know about painting fresh plaster. So Chris, what have we got today? Well, I've set up a few boards with fresh plaster and we're going to go through the preparation steps and the products to use to obtain the best results. Great, so basics, you need to make sure the plaster is completely dry before you do anything. How can we tell the plaster is completely dry, Chris? This light uniform background like this is when it's completely dry. Any darker areas means that it's still wet and sometimes depending on the how many coats and the depth of the plaster it can take weeks to dry through. And as tempted as you might be to speed this process up with heaters or dehumidifiers, don't. You'll probably crack the plaster. So the first thing to do is get the surface prepped. Get some dust sheets down, stick a mask on and lightly sand the surface of the plaster with 120 grit paper just to remove any small imperfections and key the surface. If it's over shiny, the paint won't stick. Once this is done, you can then seal the plaster with a base coat, mist coat or ghost as it's known. Chris, why can't you simply emulsion the plaster? Well, standard emulsion has a much higher vinyl content, especially some of the quality designer paints. So you must base coat first, because they won't stick to the plaster. You've got two choices here, either a contract emulsion like this one, which is perfect for the job, or you can water down a standard emulsion with four parts water to six parts paint. I would always suggest though that you water down even the contract emulsion to get best adhesion. Should look a bit like full fat milk if you've got it right. Whichever you use, stick one coat on, let it dry and then you're ready for the next stage. As you can see we've got a dry board here and the ghost has shown up a few cracks. Fill those in with a multi-purpose filler, let it dry and sand it back. Then your plaster's ready to paint. Yep, we're ready to go. I would normally suggest at least three coats. Cheers, Chris. For any more information or tips, just drop into your local brewer's store. See you soon.